I am Vibha Khandelwal and I welcome you all to our Simply Learn YouTube channel. Today, we will talk about C-Sharp Web Services. But first, let me remind you that we have our daily updates on numerous technologies. So if you are a tech geek looking for the latest technological innovation, then try subscribing to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update from Simply Learn YouTube channel. So now, without any further ado, Let's get started with the agenda for today's session. We will begin our session with a discussion on what are C Sharp Web Services. Then we will have a brief discussion on technologies that support said C Sharp Web Services. Following that, we will try to implement the C Sharp Web Services in the Use Visual Studio. Then we will have a discussion on the advantages and disadvantages of web services. Finally, we will conclude this session with a few takeaways on C Sharp Web Services. Now, let's start with what are C Sharp Web Services. A web service is a web based feature that is accessed via web protocol and used by online applications. Web services are not only for the .NET framework platform. These standards were created before the debut of .NET and they are exposed, utilized and supported by companies other than Microsoft. Web services are cross-platform, which means that a service developed in one language may be invoked by another language written in an application. The sole prerequisite for using a service is an internet connection to send an HTTP request. Web services are triggered by other programs when HTML pages are displayed in a browser for the end user. Now, after understanding the C Sharp Web Services, let's discuss the technologies that support web services. First, we have XML, then we have SOAP, then we have WSDL, then at last we have UDDI. Now, let's discuss each of them in detail. First, XML. Web services just specify the data as a result the application that understand the XML in terms of programming language or a platform can format the XML in many ways. Next we have SOAP. SOAP establishes a communication between the services and the application. The WSDL provides a consistent technology for specifying web services to other applications. At last, we have UDDI. UDDI may search the web service registration using UDDI. Next, let's try to implement this in the Visual Studio. Now, let's start by creating a new project. We will go ahead and use ASP.NET web application with the .NET framework in brackets. So if we come next, we will name this as simply learn web services. Then we will hit click. We will choose empty and hit create. Make sure you use the .NET Framework 4.7.2. If getting your learning started is half the battle, what if you could do that for free? Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. Now, let's create a web service. So, I will right click on Project Name. I will add a new item. Here, we will search for a web service ASMX. That is this one. We will name this one as simply learn service. I will click on add and here we have our first web service. 
So to start with, we have to allow a web service to be called from a script using ASP.NET Ajax. So to do that, we need to uncomment the following line. So we will go ahead and uncomment this line. Next, we will go ahead and make our own web method. So for the first method, let's make a public sum then in bracket I will have int x comma int y then we will have return x plus y now we have to make sure that we are not using the same variables or the methods again and again so to make sure that we will add something called a message name so and the bracket we will have some of numbers I forgot to add int here Now this is a complete web method. Since a web service does not allow method overloading, so we need to use message name in case if we want to reutilize these variables. So let's create few more functions. So I will just copy this one and paste. Next I will have difference between numbers I will change this function name to difference and I will change it here to minus let's make a product and a division as well copy this so for this one I will have product of numbers I will change this here as product and here I will have for this one I will have division For the message name, we will again have division name. Then save it. Now let's save it and run it. Here wait for it to run. Now we are waiting for Chrome to load up this service. And here we have first web service page. If you look closely, we are using temporary.org as its default namespace. We can change the default namespace using XML web services if made, it is made public. So now let's check our service description. It is basically a formal description which has our complete web page data. Now let's go back and work on our functions. These are the functions which are auto ordered according to the name. If you check its message name, we have different. This part is basically to specify we have made spaces between these words. So if we don't make spaces, this will not show. Now let's run one, each of them one by one. So we will go with difference. Here let's add 23, then we can have 13. Let's invoke it. And as you can see, we are getting 10. Next, let's close this one and go back to our complete list. We will go to division. 
let's make it 30 and divided by 3 we will invoke it we are again getting 10 then we can go to product we can go for 200 multiplied by 20 this will give us 4000 as you can see we are getting 4000 we can go for sum we can add any random number here for the sum so let's select for x so any number then for the y we can choose any number and we will click invoke and as you can see we are getting this number so now let's get back to our slide and continue with our slide now let's go over the advantages of c sharp web services first we have the open text based standard is always used by web services all of those components are used by web services even if they are built in different languages for different platforms the web services are simple to develop yet costly since they rely on existing infrastructures and we can repackage most of the applications as web services web services is an interoperable organization with 100 suppliers that perform interoperability. Web service encourages a modular approach to development so that the various web businesses can connect with the same web service. Web services lower the cost of enterprise application integration and business to business interaction. Now, Let's discuss the disadvantages of C sharp web services. If we employ a web service for high performance situation, then the web service will get sluggish. To describe the quality of certain online services, we use a consistent process. The vendor's ability to keep the intellectual property of a given standard is also a restriction of the web service. Finally, Let's conclude this session with a few pointers on web services. First, web service isn't really reliant on any one language. Next, a web service a protocol agnostic, that is, it does not rely on any protocol. Then we have a web service is a platform agnostic as well, that is, it does not rely on any platform. Finally, we have stateless architecture which refers to web services. These services rely only on the information provided. And this was all for today's session. Hope you guys found it informative and helpful. If you liked this session, like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, then you can drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.